house is situated in Dunedin's famous Steamer Basin. Uh, not only famous for the steamships that's come in here, but also for the salmon that can be caught right outside the door of the custom house. And I'm going to show you how to smoke salmon simply and fantastically. Right, to start our smoke process, what we need are two containers, a metal tray that we can wrap before. What we're going to use for the smoke, to smoke the salmon, is brown sugar. A lot of people use tea and wood chips. I think the brown sugar gives enough flavour to give you a fantastic product. So we put some brown sugar on the bottom, like this. Okay, and over the top of this we're going to put our rack. Okay, that's what our salmon is going to sit on for when we smoke. Okay, now we need to make a slurry that's going to go over the top of the salmon which will coat the salmon and help flavour it. So what we're going to use here is yet again brown sugar and balsamic. We don't want this to be too runny. It's very important that it's quite thick. Otherwise it's just going to run off the salmon and leave no flavour. That is perfect. Could be a little bit thicker, but I'm very happy with that. Okay. To this you can add soy, you can add sweet chilli, you can add fresh herbs, okay, because it's going to infuse and go over the salmon. Right. Next, we have some of our Lago, our lovely fresh Otago salmon. And we're just going to plate that on here like this. The next step is we're going to baste the salmon with our brown sugar and balsamic slurry. Like this. Now, to get the smoke up, what we need to do is put little holes through here so the smoke will come up around the salmon. Okay, this will allow the salmon to get the smoke nicely. And the last part is we need a lid. You can just seal up the edges around the edges, but you don't have to go all around because you want a little bit of smoke to come out so it's not too strong. Um, this is easily done at home, but please don't do it under the fire alarm or the smoke alarm because it will go off. So let's put this on top of the oven. Initially you start with a high heat so you can melt the sugar. Okay, sometimes the tumble will catch on fire, but don't panic, it's okay. What you gotta do is turn it down. As you can see, the brown sugar is now starting to burn on the bottom of the tray. The smoke's coming up from the edges. So what you need to do now is just turn it down gently because we don't want it to be too fierce. We just want it to smoke nice and slowly so that the salmon has a chance to cook all the way through. So in about 10 to 15 minutes that'll be ready. Okay our salmon's ready to come off. Obviously this is hot, so be careful when you take it off. You can see that the salmon is quite firm and it's been cooked right through and it has a lovely coating of smoke. And underneath is all the burnt stuff. The reason why I put tin foil on the bottom is because instead of ruining all your lovely uh, home Take this out carefully and then straight into the oven. Do you want me to make a salad? Put one of these on. 
Now that we've got this fantastic smoked salmon, what I'm going to do is I'll make a lovely Mediterranean style salad to go underneath it. Underneath it. Underneath it. Okay, so I'm going to make a lovely fresh Mediterranean salad to go with our salmon. So first, a few olives, some of the alachoke hearts, flame grilled red peppers, semi dried sun tomatoes, fresh green beans, and some lovely baby coslers. What I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of balsamic and olive oil dressing. Like this. Toss this around so all the flavours come together. Get a nice balance of colour and texture. When people make salads, they tend to put too much into it. What you need to do is just gently lay the food in, you know, and just try and build it up so you get a nice balance of the woolly ingredients together. Like this. And we have this beautiful, colourful salad. And on top, a beautiful smoked South Island Otago salmon.